The NFL Draft of 2007 is notorious for a number of different reasons. The opening round lasted over six hours, making it the longest ever played. But what makes the 2007 NFL Draft class the best draft in 25 years? Stick with me till the end of the video and let us all find out. But before tuning in, we would love it if you'll click the like button, subscribe to our channel, and tap the notification bell for more updates and videos like this. As we do around this time every year at Football Outsiders, it's time to get into the time machine and go back 15 years. There were questions from top quarterbacks. A freak wide receiver put up great numbers with a college quarterback known for being terrible. A rock-solid left tackle chose to go fishing on draft day instead of going to New York City to be honored. Now let us look at the top 10 draft picks made in 2007. Leon Hall, CB, Cincinnati Bengals. Since the Bengals picked him, Leon Hall has been one of the best cornerbacks in the NFL. Since 2007, he has picked off 22 passes, which puts him fifth among all corners. He's fourth in interceptions, 89, and in every season of his career, he has had more than one interception. Even though Hall was chosen for both AP All-Pro team and the USA Today All-Joe team, he hadn't played in Pro Bowl yet. Even so, that shouldn't lower his value since he's been a top 10 cornerback for the last few years. Dwayne Bow, WR, Kansas City Chiefs Since he was drafted, Dwayne Bow has played with a few of the worst quarterbacks in the game. Damon Heward, Brody Croyle, Tyler Thigpen, Matt Cassell, Tyler Palco, Kyle Orton, and Brady Quinn have all thrown passes to him. Aside from Cassell's Pro Bowl season in 2010, Bo had never had a good quarterback throw to him. Still, over his six-year career, he has averaged 69 interceptions, 955 receiving yards, and six touchdowns per season. He has been to the Pro Bowl, gotten more than 1,000 yards three times, and led the league in touchdown catches. Bo is a big downfield target. He is six foot two tall and weighs more than 220 pounds. So the Kansas City Chiefs finally got him to sign a long-term contract. Joe Staley, OT, San Francisco 49ers. Joe Staley has quietly become one of the best offensive tackles in the league, which is good because the San Francisco 49ers traded to pick him up. He is the best at stopping runs and is also a good pass blocker. Staley has been to the Pro Bowl and All-Pro teams twice last season. He helped the 49ers get to the Super Bowl. Staley has been a big part of making it possible for the Niners to run the ball. During Staley's first two seasons, this team ranked 27th in rushing, but by 2012, they were 25th, 19th, 8th, and 4th. Stanley's long-term contract extension keeps him with the San Francisco Giants throughout the 2017 season. Ben Grubbs, G, Baltimore Ravens Guards don't usually go in the first round, but when they do, they usually do well. Ben Grubbs isn't the only one. Since he was drafted, he has played in every game except the six he missed in 2011. It is because of an ankle injury. Grubbs is a good pass blocker and a good run blocker, and he is also fast enough to catch screen passes. Grubbs has been to a Pro Bowl, helped his teams reach the playoffs four times, and played well enough for the New Orleans Saints to give him a long-term contract extension. John Beeson, ILB, Carolina Panthers John Beeson was on his way to the Pro Football Hall of Fame in his first four years in the league. In his first 64 NFL games, he was the starter in all of them. Beeson averaged more than 100 tackles, two interceptions, and one sack per year. He was chosen for three Pro Bowls and two AP All-Pro teams. That made him the highest paid inside linebacker in NFL history and got him a new, better contract with the Carolina Panthers. Beeson has had two serious knee injuries since then. He has missed 27 of the last 32 games because of a torn Achilles tendon and a knee injury. Calvin Johnson, WR, Detroit Lions Five of the first round picks in the 2007 draft should get an A+. They could be put in any order, but I put Calvin Johnson at the end because he was taken first in the draft, which leads to the greatest expectations. Johnson didn't quite reach his full potential in the first few seasons, but in 2011 and 2012, he really took off. Megatron set the record for the most receiving yards in a single season and led the NFL with 122 interceptions. He is only the fourth receiver in the league's history to catch at least 7,500 yards in his first six seasons. Randy Moss, Torrey Holt, and Jerry Rice are the other three, and they are all outstanding. Megatron has averaged 9 touchdowns per season with a high of 16 in 2011. He has scored 12 or more touchdowns 3 times. Think about how much better he'd be if he had a good running game. 
Since 2007, the Detroit Lions have always been in the bottom 10 and have a good number two threat at wide receiver. Darrell Rivas, CB, New York Jets. Fourth, it may seem low and many people like how Darrell plays, but he was hurt for almost the whole year of 2012. Which would you rather have, six seasons of Adrian Peterson, Patrick Willis, and Joe Thomas, or five seasons of Revis? Each of the four has been one of the best at his position in the league, and will go down as one of the top 10 players of all time. Revis has been to the Pro Bowl four times and has been named an All-Pro three times. He is the most like Deion Sanders since Sanders himself. He is the kind of cornerback you can put on the number one receiver of the other team and let him do his thing. Revis was 15th out of 114 eligible corners in 2008 in terms of the number of passes he let through. In 2009, he was the first with a crazy score of 32.6. Not like him, he was 31st in 2010, although still first in completion percentage allowed. In 2011, he was second with a score of 45.6. Cornerback is probably the most challenging position to play well year after year, and Revis is a master at what he does. Joe Thomas, OT. Cleveland Browns. Joe Thomas, Adrian Peterson, and Patrick Willis are the same. Thomas is third place because the Minnesota Vikings and San Francisco 49ers got more for their picks when they went lower in the draft. Thomas has always been a real stud when it comes to his play on the field. In many years, he has been to six Pro Bowls. He is only the 16th player in NFL history to win all six games. 13 of these players are in the Pro Bowl Hall of Fame. Patrick Willis is another. Thomas has started all 96 games he has played over the last six seasons. He is one of the only 11 players to have done that. He made first team All-Pro three times and second team All-Pro twice. Since Pro Football Focus started in 2008, Thomas had been ranked as the best pass blocking offensive tackle in first, second, third, fourth, and fifth. He is also good at stopping runs and doesn't get into too many penalties. Adrian Peterson, RB, Minnesota. Most of the time, taking a running back in the first round doesn't pay off. Too often, teams get players like Joseph Adai, Lawrence Maroney, Ronnie Brown, and Jonathan Stewart. Adrian Peterson, on the other hand, has been the real deal. From the time he was a rookie, he was the best. Adrian ran for 296 yards in his ninth NFL game, the most ever in a single game. In year two, Peterson led the league in rushing yards with 1,760, and in year three, he led the league in rushing touchdowns with 18. And then there was the genuinely miraculous way he got better after being hurt. When AP tore his ACL and MCL, he returned faster than anyone thought. He wasn't just back to 100%, he was even better than before. AP ran for 2,097 yards and was only 9 yards away from setting the record for most yards in a single season. He ran with the ball 348 times, which was a career high. He averaged a crazy 6.0 yards per carrying on a team that ranked 24th in passing. Peterson is tied for 4th all-time with 76 rushing touchdowns in his first 6 seasons. He has the most yards per carrying, 5.05, and he has played in the least number of games. Peterson has scored 10 or more touchdowns on the ground in all 6 seasons. He's been to the Pro Bowl five times and made the first team of All-Pro three times. And if last year is any indication, he still has many good years ahead of him. Patrick Willis, ILB, San Francisco 49ers Since 2007, Patrick Willis has been one of the best football players who isn't a quarterback. Pro Football Reference uses a statistic called Approximate Value, which is the NFL's version of win shares in Major League Baseball. Since he was drafted, Willis's total AV is 92, only behind Tom Brady and Drew Brees. The next best defender in the league has a score of 84. Adrian Peterson is the next best player from this year's draft class, 77. Willis has started all 96 games he could have started, which has earned him 6 Pro Bowls in 6 seasons. He has been on the AP's first team All-Pro team 5 times and the second team All-Pro team once. He has been named NFL Alumni Linebacker of the Year thrice and was Defensive Rookie of the Year in 2007. And he is the only player in the league to have been named the All-Pro first team five times in the last six years. Since 2007, Willis has made 630 tackles, which makes him the best defensive player of all time. 552 is the next highest number. Willis is one of the only two players in the league who have at least 15 sacks and 7 interceptions since 2007. 
Lawrence Timmons is the other player. He has half as many tackles and passes breakups as Willis. Willis is simply in a class by himself and may be seen as one of the top three linebackers of all time. So what do you think? NFL 2007 was the best class draft in the last 25 years? Let me know your thoughts and comment down below.